and I've just washed, uh, basically just washed these ones. And you can see how much their magnets underneath our wash tray. You can see how much muck has come off. I'll wipe that up now, and then we'll demagnetize these, and then wash them again. Um, that's without any air pressure or anything like that to flush out any of that muck. And you'll see that by demagnetizing, you'll get a lot more rubbish out of the out of the solenoid. What actually happens is that very fine metal is the stuff that actually gets magnetized and then it just sits in there. Um, if you don't demagnetize it, it'll just roll around in there, you can't clean it out as well. But ideally the only way you can really flush these out properly is to pull them apart. So you can see I've washed the tray there and I've washed these and blown them out as best as I can without, this is before demagnetizing. Got our little demagnetizer. I'm just holding that button down there. You can see it actually. And I just roll it around on there. already a bit of dirty solvent coming out of it. This is without any air pressure. Um, you can see that it's already accumulating fine metal in there. Our wash um, parts washer pressure, it's knocking out a little bit of fine metal. Not a lot, and I'll just show you. You can see it's still got that fine metal out of it. So now I'm going to just give it a blast with the air pressure and, and do the whole thing again just to try and get out as much as I can. There we go, nice and clean. You should be able to hear it clicking. These are just on off solenoids. So you can actually make a little tester, a little tester that we've got. And basically the way it works is you put, there's a little o-ring in there that seals it. You put your solenoid in there, tighten it up, just so it holds there. So it's bleeding off. I'll just put some power on it there. I'm putting the air through now. And now I'm hitting the switch. And you can see it, that one's not leaking at all. You 
can even hear it. Uh, needs the air to work, but... Anyway, shows how you can demagnetize and clean solenoids out more efficiently. Um, but it's still important to test them, air pressure test them. Uh, if they're PWM or linear solenoids, you need to test them with amperage, not with voltage. These are on-off solenoids, so you can just test them with 12 volts. Uh, I like to test them at about 8.5 volts. Uh, so, you know, it's getting full power under, you know, when it's 12 volts or 14.3 volts, which is what a normal um, battery in a car runs at. So, always important to um, warm these up as well, because sometimes they fail under heat. Anyway, hope that's helped. Thank you for watching.